What's up everyone, my name is Firebird, welcome back to another stream on the channel. Today we're going to be starting uh, starting and finishing uh, Medal of Honor 2010. Uh, we're going to do a long play of this, we're going to do the entire campaign with uh, no cuts. Uh, so one thing I do want to say before we get into this, uh, if you do get this game on Steam, or uh, two things actually, uh, you will need to uh, edit your uh, sensitivity in a configuration file. Uh, it's a pain to find, I'll leave a link down in the description for what you need to do. Uh, and... For the first time since I've been doing long plays on this channel, which I've only done, I think, two before, uh, I'm also going to be recording and streaming at the same time, so if you do want to, you know, watch an entire, like, four or five hour video or stream, I'll just have it cut up into, like, ten or so different parts. So, yeah. Uh, I have, uh, I've already played a tiny, tiny bit. I was just making sure the audio and everything was going to be okay. So, let's go ahead and get right on into this. This game takes place in the, uh... Before we start this, uh, the game takes place in the very, very, very early days of the uh, War on Terror. I think it takes place in it's either December of 2001 or uh, early 2002. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite games for the uh, War on Terror era. Uh, let's go ahead and get around into this. I'm going to go with easy because this game can be brutal in some missions. Yeah, I, I know about the freaking thing, Steam. Open. 
Salamuna. Salam. Doi Fohigi, Chi Mung Dub to you? No, no. Taliban is I know Pashak Sande will love. Ha, ha. Does it come here can only post the shadi? No. Everything cool here, my man. Cigarette? No, banana. Bro. Us, us, us. And it begins. I don't know, I kind of like first got me an uh, initial spray just head right there. Come on, peek it. Come on. Eh, I guess you'll do. Can I shoot him in the arm? I don't even shooting him. Keybinds. I don't remember where my controls are. What is melee? X. I'm gonna change that to. Is there anything, is there anything behind the back? Cancel. Is there anything down to F? Does not appear so. Uh, of course it is. Um. I guess I'll bind it to me a metal mouse button. Oh, that's right, so firing mode is. Ooh, this is unfortunate, because I think I have one of my mouse buttons set up as a, a hotkey in OBS, but I don't remember which one it is. You know what? Let's check. Settings. Hotkeys. Oh, I don't. Sweet. Okay, then I'm definitely putting melee to, uh forward mouse button. Save that. There we go. I don't know, I don't know, uh, 
I don't know why, but for some reason the uh, Mark 18 motto, which we're using, you know, right now, is referred to as an M4 CQBR. I don't know why it is, but it is. Which I mean, technically not wrong, but still. Also, I love this red dot sight. I wish this was a uh, was the default red dot sight for a insurgency, but whatever. Not a fan of the uh, M68s. Also, as we will see later on, Rabbit's kind of the uh, team designated marksman. No, not the shotgun. I'm on my Mark 18. But as we'll see, uh, this is really the only mission Rabbit gets any kind of close quarters weaponry that I can think of. But uh, for the most part, he's the team's designated marksman. He normally gets a uh, a Mark 18 with an A or an M4 Mark 18. I don't remember which one he gets, but uh, it's usually a. Uh, he normally has an ACOG. Z. The first time I played this game, I didn't know what the button for uh, nods was, and I went through this entirely dark. So that was fun. Also, this game is unparalleled for the uh, shotgun gore that I've seen. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Aw, he didn't do it. He didn't do it either. I guess it, I guess it only affects it when it's point blank range, which we will get a moment for that here in just once. Or you work too. But yeah, like I said, unparalleled. For, like, his entire head blows up. So yeah. Hey guys. I'm gonna reload my shotgun. <coughs> Did not mean to hit the mic. You can have a grenade, my friend. There you go. Oh, that was a really good idea, taking cover in front of where you were hiding before. Also, a uh, fun fact about the AKs in this game. Uh, most, of, most, if not all of the uh, AKs in the game are kind of just hodgepodges of different styled AKs from, like, a different, you know, European countries. Is this an example of one? Doesn't look like it is. Some of them have, a uh, East German, uh, wire folding socks, uh, with foregrip. Some of them have just standard AK and furniture. It's kind of just like a mix match. And I think later on in the game we, uh, get G3s too, like G3A3s. Okay then, I forgot he threw a nade right there. Also... You cannot. You well. I mean, when you whenever you load on ammo, you can uh, get ammo for your primaries, and sometimes just like I don't, I don't, I don't remember if you. No, I mean you can't for your fucking pistol that has unlimited ammo. Also, I don't know why for some re for some reason this is this was a glitch I encountered on the. Uh, <coughs> excuse. Me. This was a glitch I encountered on the uh, Xbox all the time when I played this game on the Xbox. Uh, your guns would appear really, really close to your face, and I don't know why that's the thing, but it, uh, apparently it's the same on PC, for whatever reason. That, I believe, is a PK or a Dushka firing right there. I don't remember which one, but it's one of the two. What? Oh! 
I forgot about the RPG right there. I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot about that. See, he had a forming stock, but a solid wooden handguard. Also, I completely forgot this game began with 9-11 uh, going down. Completely forgot about that. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you too, my friend. Ah, oh, well, you're dead. The, uh, team, the teammate guys in the game are actually decently good. Ah, uh, yeah, this is one of, yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, this is one of the, uh, modded ones. It has a foregrip and a, uh, folding stock. I might do a... Uh... Oh, nice aim me. You know, I actually thought I would uh, shoot him since I already had my pistol up, but you know what? Okay then. I love the look of this uh, Mark 18 motto, by the way. Where do I need to go? Ah, yeah, that's right. I, I haven't played this game in a while. I might try single fire out. Also, I... Yeah, you can just barely see him uh, switching it to... Uh, you can actually see him using the fire select, which I think is kind of a cool thing that not a whole lot of games do, especially uh, Siege for whatever reason. But this is Siege. This is actually a uh, game with good gunplay in it. But uh, Medal of Honor uh, 2010 spawned one single sequel, and that was uh, Medal of Honor Warfire, which wasn't very received very well. I don't know why it wasn't. I, it, from what I've seen, it looks decent, and I, they probably fixed all the bugs and glitches now. I mean, it's been, you know, 11 years since it came out, so uh, I might get it and do a long play. I don't know if I'll do a long play in that one, though. I might just do an episodic thing, like with what I'm doing right now with this. I'm going to switch it back to this full auto. Come on now. Oh, he blew up. He blew up. Oh, they they I forgot that prune on this wall and fire at you. You stop that. Pretty sure I was just also just lit up where you find Tariq. Pretty sure of it. I wish we had these uh comp M2s for uh Sandstorm. So I could get a uh, carry handle M4 build, kind of reminiscent of uh Delta Force from uh Black Hawk Down, but that's neither here nor there. I also don't remember if wallbangs are a thing in this game or not. Is my uh, 226 still bugging out? Nope, it's not. There we go. Let's get him. Also, fun fact, uh, if you played uh, The Last of Us or seen the TV show, Mother's voice should sound familiar to you. Uh, he is voiced by, uh, I think his name is Jeffrey Pierce. I'm pretty sure that's his name. So, yeah. I hope EA brings back Metal of Honor soon, but I doubt they will, since uh, Warfighter kind of killed off the series for, you know, close to a decade. And uh, above and beyond from what I know, didn't do very good. I 
I gotta remember swiping down my uh, mouse wheel is not for my shotgun, it's for my pistol. There we go. But this game interestingly does what uh, Call of Duty 1, 2, and uh, 3 does, and it kind of has you playing as a, an American soldier from three different perspectives. I'll let him talk. But, I mean, like, you're all playing all-American soldier. Like, you're no one you play is non-American. But, uh, you play as, uh, Delta Force. You play as, uh, AFO Neptune. You play as, uh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about that. You play as, uh, the Rangers. And you have one mission as an Apache Gunner. Eh, come on, give me that headshot. Oh, I didn't get the headshot on him? What? I got that that time. Ah, it would have been nice to know that the grenade was right there. Reload, even though I have more than half mag, still reload. I will take that dragon up. Do I want to take over the- Yeah, I do want to take over the shotgun. I haven't used the shotgun barely at all. Oh, I hate this scope. I hate that green tint. <clears throat> that dude was carrying 300 rounds of ammo on him? Jesus Christ. Now, was that a good idea to shoot me like- Was that a good idea to shoot me like that? Oh, I- This is why I don't use sniper rifles in gaming, because my aim is always off. I think I hit him? I definitely hit him. I hit him that time. I hit that guy too. Yeah, man, you can. You know you want to. Thank you. Full on grenade ammo. Wait, it's actually filled. Yeah, it actually says grenade ammo. Okay. I figured it would just say grenades. But. And for those of you watching the videos instead of the stream after this is done, uh, I'm not going to do an intro for every specific video. I'm just going to, you know, pick up where the uh, stream leaves off. So, yeah.
Oh yeah, see, th this is the uh, this is the one I wanted to show. This is the uh, East German underfolder, the MPIK or whatever it's called. Really? Fresh mag. <laughs> Just don't shoot the old guy. <laughs> I mean, what if we're fighting guys that are old, though? What the fuck was that back there? This is the Taliban. They have spies everywhere. They took everything and left only her. Please, you must find them. Find them and kill them all. Bullshit. Why should we trust him? For all we know, he set us up. Why should we trust him? Please. I have a daughter. I want her to go to school. I want her to be a person, to have a life. Do you okay, not understand? Okay. I understand. Where are the enemy? Shaikha. Shaikha? What's that? It's Pashto. It means Valley of the Kings. Shaikha. Where is it? There. How many? Many. 500 fighters. Or more. Hmm. We're gonna need a bigger boat. 